One of the great things is the torque. And just like that, 60 miles an hour. The EcoBoost V6 happens to be the world's first twin turbocharged direct injection V6 engine. EcoBoost gives you more power, better fuel economy, and lower emissions. Normally with traditional turbochargers, you have to lower the compression ratio, which lowers the efficiency of the engine. Direct injection actually cools down the combustion chamber, so you get the turbochargers for the performance, and you get the direct injection for good response and improved fuel economy. So by using less fuel, we're producing less CO2 emissions, and that's actually helping the environment. What that means to a consumer is they get great acceleration, they get great confidence in their vehicle, that they can just have fun with their car when they want to. The first time we had that aha moment with the 3.5-liter EcoBoost was when we got results back from testing. Once we saw the results, we thought to ourselves, we've, we've really got a hit here. We've got something that can really change the game now. Started giving out the keys to people, and people were blown away by the performance of this engine. But the final decision came when Alan Mulally drove it. And when he drove the vehicle, he uh, got out of the car, he had a big smile on his face, and he said, this is the right engine for the new Taurus. When we first announced EcoBoost, we had one reporter come back to me and say, performance cars have to have a V8 in them. You guys at Ford are crazy. Just about Two months ago, the same reporter came back to me and he says, I want to offer you an apology. He says, I was one of those guys that said this wouldn't work. I was wrong. This EcoBoost engine is perfect. I really want to compliment you guys. And that to me was a big, you know, kind of like, all right, I like that. Because, you know, we've, we've taken the naysayers and we've converted them to believe that EcoBoost is the right way, just like we believe it. There you go. Just another day at the office.